Hello grade tens. in this video I'm going to go over a few examples of how to name chemical compounds. In this particular video I'm going to be focusing on giving the chemical name, so the spell type name, so for example sodium chloride, if they give you the chemical formula, so for example if they give you NaCl. Over here you can see I have a list of chemical formulae, so let's get going. The first thing that we need to remember when we give the name, if they give me the chemical formula, is that we always write the cation first. Now remember, the cation is the positive ion, and it's generally formed from the metal, which loses an electron, making it positive. So the cation's name goes first, and you write it as is. So for example, if our cation that we're talking about is sodium, then you're going to write sodium. If it's magnesium, you're going to write magnesium. If it's lithium, you're going to write lithium. It is exactly the same. You don't change the name. You don't add anything. Then, after the cation comes the anion. And remember, the anion is generally formed from the non-metal. Now, remember, why is it forming an anion? Anions are negative ions because onions make you cry. Sounds like anions. So it's negative because it, is, it has gained electrons. So the non-metals typically gain electrons and the name changes. So the way it is on the periodic table is not how we write it. So what I mean is we don't write sodium chlorine. No, we don't. And we know that. That just sounds wrong. It just sounds weird. What we do is we take the anion, which is this part, so and we change it. So we change the end of the name, so the en, to ide. So it's sodium chlorine. Ride. We always change the anion to end in ide. So, for example, if our cation bonds with our anion and our anion is oxygen, it'll change to oxide. If it bonds with fluorine, it'll change to fluoride. If it bonds with nitrogen, it'll change to nitride. Don't get confused by nitrates. That's something different. Nitrogen becomes nitride. Phosphorus becomes phosphide. Sulfur becomes sulfide. It always changes to ide. So let's actually do a few of these to practice. So in number one, I've got Mg. If you learned your common elements, you'll know that Mg is magnesium. Because that is the cation. Remember, magnesium is the cation. It's Mg2+. plus. How do I know that? Well, we know that by looking at the periodic table and we can see that Mg over here is in group, this group over here, group 2. So it's got a charge or valency of plus 2. That's not very important for me to be aware of now, but I just need you to be, you know, sort of aware that it's the cation. The cation's name doesn't change. Magnesium stays magnesium. Then, MgO. O is oxygen, but because it's the anion, it's the negative ion, it changes to ox. Oxide. 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 It ends in ide. Okay, number two. Li is lithium. It's the cation. It stays as is. And if, because it's the anion, it changes from fluorine to fluoride. Lithium fluoride. Not lithium fluorine. F is the anion, so its name changes from fluorine to fluoride. Number three. Ba. BA is barium, if you did not know. It's one of those you need to study. BA is barium. And now we've got CL. CL is chlorine. CL is chlorine, but when it bonds, it becomes chloride. Okay, when it forms an ion, it's a chloride ion. NA is sodium. And now be careful. S is sulfur, but when we bond, it becomes sulfide. Some teachers may spell it with a PH, it's the same thing. But what is not the same thing is sulfates. So sulfide is when sulfur gains two extra electrons. So it's S alone over there, the S. You may have heard of sulfates. That is a polyatomic ion, which we'll get to in another video. But a polyatomic ion, it's basically two or more elements covalently bonded. So SO4, and it had, has a charge of two minus. That's sulfate. Sulfide is the S. Number five, Li again is lithium, and P is phosphate. 
fide. Phosphied. Again, here I'm spelling it with a PH. If you spell it with an F, it's fine. But it is the anion. So it goes from phosphorus. P is phosphorus. It goes from phosphorus to phosphide. Remember that anion always ends in ide. We will cover the last five in a video to come. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this. Comment down below what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe.